Hi folks, welcome to Black Bear's Detail and YouTube channel. This is a very quick rundown and operation of the Top Don JS1200. It's a small jump starter which is able to jump start cars, boats, motorbikes, basically anything with a 12 volt battery that might need jump started. Uh, the Basically this was a wee gift from my wife, she'd asked me if I wanted something uh, for my birthday and I've managed to kind of sneak it a wee bit earlier, sorry Christmas. I've managed to get it uh, earlier from her because I basically need it for use up in the unit. I've now picked up my own motorbike, so I basically wanted something to be able to jump my own one. But lo and behold, the customer's bike has been with me for just over a week now. Uh, the trickle charger wasn't jumped off, uh, dropped off with me and it is failing to start. So basically this is the perfect time to give it a wee shot uh, and try it out. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the uh, the camera around, we'll take the seat off and we'll get this thing hooked up and we'll see how it works. Okay, so that's this connected up. We have the positive terminal on there, we can't get access to the negative terminal. Uh, without basically taking off sections of the bike. This has just been ceramic coated. Uh, I don't want to start messing about and touching stuff on there and then possibly kind of damaging the coating uh, before it gets a chance to cure. So it's connected onto basically the side of the block. The actual uh, kind of engine earth is just down here. However, these clamps are too big to get to them. But what we'll do is we'll give this a wee go and see if this works. As you can see, that's telling me it's correct. It's getting a reading from that battery and that earth. It should get a, a point. So we will give this a go. If you are jump starting a motorbike or starting a motorbike, always make sure that that neutral light is illuminated. Just an off chance it's not. Uh, the bike will be in gear and it will surge forward, which you don't want. This will be noisy. Should it start? So, as you can see, it's really not the hardest bit of equipment in the world to use. Uh, the actual feel of it feels really quite robust. Uh, the, the whole thing that got me started with the uh, Top Down was uh, one of my friends basically had got a, a wee funky charger and he was down and I was comparing it against my SeaTech one, which cost, I think, about three times the price. And the Top Down one just looked and fell and had so many more features. So when the time came I was looking for that, I just went for a top down one. Uh, the kind of input section to charge it is a USB-C. Uh, when I got it, it came and it was about 75% charged. I plugged it in here and within a couple of hours it was up at the 100% mark. Uh, the operation of it, when you plug that in, it turns itself on automatically. So there is only one way in which you can put that on. So Plug it in and there we go, it gives you the, uh, the, the battery percentage and turns itself on. Uh, the, it also has the capabilities to be used as a power bank, so if you're out in the middle of nowhere, uh, if, you've, if you've kept it in your car and you get caught out in the winter months, then you can just plug it into your, your phone and it will keep your phone nice and charged as well. It also comes with a wee torch uh, on the, the bottom of it, so you hold it in for three seconds and there we go, the torch turns on and if you click it once it goes to strobe and if you click it again it goes to SOS function and press it a third time to turn it off. Uh, it's pretty well made, it feels quite robust, there's no like squeakiness to it, it certainly does not feel flimsy at all. Uh, don't be wrong, we don't want to be dropping it and chucking it about the place but uh, it's good to know if you were to drop it it's probably going to be able to withstand that. It's got a kind of rubberized angular uh, kind of edging to it as you can see so if it drops it's probably designed to take a wee brunt of the, the fall. It also comes with a wee uh, kind of nylon carry case with some instructions in it and there's two places basically to hold so jump starter goes in and I put that in first to the other side and then just filter these in kind of side by side and it fits in really nicely. Uh, it won't take up too much room in the back of your car and there we go, that's it. All stored away so it's not as if it's like a, uh, packing everything in to try and get it in place. So, 
I got it as a gift from my wife. She ordered it from Amazon. Uh, right now it's sitting at £75.99, so 76 quid. And there's also a little 15% voucher thing uh, on it if you click on it. I'm not going to just regurgitate everything because you can go onto Amazon, you can check it, and the chances are if you're watching this video, you've probably asked for a Top Dawn GS1200 review. So, so you've, you've already kind of read it. Uh, it's just to kind of give you my little findings on it. So yeah, it says uh, it will jumpstart up to six and a half litre gasoline engine and four litre diesel. Uh, it's a 12 volt charger. Uh, everything you can read up online, I'm not going to regurgitate it all. So yeah, this is uh, a quite a handy wee thing. Very first time I've used it on that bike and uh, done it without a hiccup. Just say uh, make sure that you're using correct points uh, on the, the, the vehicle you're looking to charge, make sure the negative is an actual negative uh, terminal point and not just something that might just look like a bolt kind of sticking out from somewhere because it basically won't jump start it at that point. But uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, please hit the wee subscribe button. Take care, thank you, goodbye.